Good morning. Welcome to today's edition of This This Morning, live on Channels Television, your home for the news. I'm Harriet. I've been in market activities resumed today across major segments of the market after a two-day holiday declared by the federal government last week to celebrate Easter. But there will be only four days of trade this week and most market watchers expect the equities market, for instance, to close higher this week as investors look to buy into fairly priced stocks. Now, also this week, Fidelity Bank and Unilever Nigeria PLC will be marked down for buy sentiments, having proposed a dividend of 14 and 10 cobo respectively. To me, Fakai Joe, an equities trader and CEO of Enterprise Stock Brokers, joins me later on the program to analyze early trade at the NSC. And just yesterday, we spoke to Robert Omotunde, who is the head of research at Afri Invest. He says, uh, with regards to the fixed income segment of the market, treasury bills and bonds, for instance, the Central Bank of Nigeria will be holding a tre treasury bills auction uh, tomorrow, and same amount will be maturing on Thursday. And so he's expecting more improved investors' appetite towards treasury bills and less towards the bonds market. But of course, we'll keep our eye on those numbers. But we'll review where the markets are starting the day from in a bit. Now, the House of Representatives has reportedly discovered that the Nigerian Na National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, did not remit a total of $81.2 billion, $81 billion crude oil proceeds to the Federation account in about four years. The House had a committee investigating the alleged export of $17 billion worth of undeclared crude oil and gas resources is demanding answers for the, from the corporation as the investigation which uncovers which covers the year 2011 to 2014 intensifies we're more on that during our energy market segment but Nigeria's Minister of Finance Kemi Adeoshu has confirmed that the ministry is working with the National Pension Commission to recover the pensions so far paid into the retirement savings account of ghost workers. In her first Facebook video session Mrs. Adeoshu mentioned that about 53,000 ghost workers had so far been removed from the federal government payroll since the establishment of the presidential initiative on continuous audit in March last year. Now, the minister explains that the government is spending about uh, 16 billion naira each on pensions and overheads in addition to 165 billion naira wage bill. She says the focus of the government going forward is to bring all its agencies into the integrated personnel and payroll information system platform to assist in bringing down the wage bill. Of course, this administration is counting down to two years in the seat and it's been a lot of topsy-turvy, good and bad. And with regards to settling pensions, this is a very welcome development and we'll keep our eye on this particular story. Channel's television correspondent, Loki Obewe Saude, joins me live from the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport. Good morning, Loki. Good morning. It's great to have you on the program. What, what more can you tell us at this time? So we're counting down to the reopening of the airport. Please come again. What more can you tell us at this time? We're counting down to the reopening of the Abuja airport. From what I can see on ground, everything appears safe for the reopening of the airport officially tomorrow. But the management of FAN are giving Ethiopian airline, the priority, uh, the preference of landing today ahead of the official opening tomorrow. And information gathered here shows that the flight is actually expected to touch down at 11 a.m. Ethiopian air officials are on ground, fan officials also on ground to receive the aircraft. So give us a sense of what the other facilities are looking like. Because from listening to uh, Mahmoud Sani, who is uh, airport manager, it seems like it's not only the runway that was actually touched up in this, uh, this few weeks that the airport has been closed. Give us a sense of what the other facilities are looking like. The terminal buildings have been renovated. One of the terminals does not even have a lift. But right now, a lift has been installed so as to ease the movement of physically challenged persons and the elderly ones who have to board their flights out of the Abuja airport. And general renovation of the airport has also been carried out, making it look newer and more passenger friendly. 
So have you been speaking to uh, anybody there who, who probably works there, maybe operators or you know, the general staff who usually use the airport? Have you spoken to any of them? What's their, what's their take on the reopening tomorrow? Are they quite excited? So the operators I spoke to are excited about coming to, uh, returning to Abuja, having been away from the nation's capital for six weeks, which elapses tomorrow. And they are, most of them are even moving in uh, to town today to resume operation ahead of uh, the official opening tomorrow. Even uh, uh, airport taxi operators are also excited that the airport will be reopened, having uh, in, having uh, completed the renovation within the six weeks promised by the federal government. Thank you so much, Lucky, for the update. Of course, we'll continue to, to speak with you in the course of the day, especially as we uh, count down to when Ethiopian Airlines will be uh, landing in the nation's capital, Lucky Obeo Isawade, their channel television correspondent live from Abuja. Well, that airport will be reopened tomorrow, but according to what he says, uh, FAN has given, the federal government has given Ethiopian Airlines a permission to land today at 11 a.m., but officially that airport will open tomorrow. But follow channels television on any of our platforms to stay up to speed with this developing story.